example 2a. Okay, 3 over x multiplied with x minus 2 squared. This is a proper fraction because the degree of numerator is less than the degree of denominator. Okay, after this we have to analyze whether we can use the linear factor, repeated linear factors or quadratic factor to solve the question. This one, x and x here, the degree is 1, so it is linear factors, but the factor x minus 2, it repeats two times. So, it is repeated linear. So, equal to a over x plus b over x minus 2 plus c over x minus 2 squared we have to equal the denominator for right hand side and left hand side so we can multiply it with this one x and x minus 2 square first I would like to multiply the question with this term so x and x minus 2 square we can cancel it. Okay, so you will get 3. Okay, equal to this one a over x multiply with x and x minus 2 squared. So this one x, we can cancel it. Then you will get a multiply with x minus 2 squared. Okay, plus, after this, we take b over x minus 2, multiply with x and x minus 2 squared. So, x minus 2 can cancel here. Here, x minus 2, repeated twice. So, this one, you cancel it. Okay. Left over 1. Therefore, b have to multiply with x and x minus 2. Plus c over x minus 2 square here have to multiply with this term. So x minus 2 square here have to cancel with this one. Then you will get c multiply with x. After this, we have to find the value for a, b and c by using substitution method. So I can substitute x equal to 2. So that this part will become 0 and this part will become 0. Therefore, 3 equal to A multiply with 0 plus B multiply with 0. Because 0 multiply with X, then you will get 0. Okay, plus C multiply with 2. So you will get 3 equal to 2C. So C will be 3 over 2. Okay, after this, I would like to substitute x equal to 0. So that this part will become 0 and this part. Therefore, 3 equal to A multiply with 0 minus 2, you will get negative 2 square. And this one, B and C will get 0. So, 3 equal to 4A. Then your A will be 3 over 4. Okay, the last one, I can substitute any number to the X. Okay, let's say I would like to substitute x equal to 1. So, there will be 3 equal to a multiply with 1 minus 2, you will get negative 1. Square plus b multiply with 1 here. 
and then 1 minus 2, you will get negative 1 plus C multiplied with 1. So we will get 3 equal to negative 1 square, you will get 1, so 1A is equal to 1. Then this one minus 1 and positive 1, you will get minus 1, so minus B plus C. Okay, you can substitute your A equal to 3 over 4 into this equation and C equal to 3 over 2 into C here. So you get A is 3 over 4 minus B plus C. So you will get B equal to negative 3 over 4. Okay. Therefore, 3 over x multiplied with x minus 2 square equal to a 3 over 4. So it's 3 over 4 x plus b is negative 3 over 4 so negative 3 over 4 x minus 2 plus c equal to 3 over 2 ok so 3 over 2 x minus 2 square Okay, this is our final answer. Okay, example 2b. 2 minus x over x multiplied with x plus 1 squared. Okay, this is a linear factor. This is a linear factor 2. But the factor for x plus 1, it repeat 2 times. So, we have to use a lin repeated linear factor to solve the question. Okay, so it will equal to a over x okay, plus b over x plus 1 plus c over x plus 1 square okay then next okay next as usual we have to equal the denominator for both sides okay therefore we have to multiply with x and x plus 1 square so it's x plus 1 repeat two times okay so first we multiply the equation with all this term so x and x plus 1 square can cancel with all these terms so you will get 2 minus x Okay, equal to this one. Okay, a over x multiply with x multiply with x plus 1 and x plus 1. So, x and x can cancel. Therefore, you will get a multiply with x plus 1 square x plus 1 and x plus 1 here is x plus 1 square. Then b over x plus 1 multiply with all this term x plus 1 and x plus 1 you can cancel it so you will get plus b multiply with x and x plus 1. Okay? The last term here, c over x plus 1 square, multiply with all these, these three terms. So this one can cancel. Therefore, you will get c multiply with x. Okay, after this, I would like to find the value of a, b, and c. Okay, by using substitution method. So first, I would like to substitute x equal to 
negative 1. So that this part and this part will get 0. So 2 minus negative 1 equal to A multiplied with 0 plus B multiplied with 0 plus C multiplied with negative 1. So this one, 2 minus negative 1, you will get 3 equal to this one negative C. Therefore, C equal to negative 3. Okay, next I would like to substitute x with 0. So that this part will get 0 and this part will get 0. So 2 minus 0 equal to A multiply with 0 plus 1, you will get 1. And 1 square, you will get 1, 2. And this one, 0, 0. So A equal to 2. Okay, next I would like to substitute X with 1. Okay, then I will get this one, 2 minus 1, you will get 1 equal to this one, 1 plus 1, 2. Then 2 square, you will get 4, so it's 4A. Four 4A four plus B multiply with 1. And this one is 1 plus 1, 2. So 2B. Two and C. C multiply with 1, you will get C. Therefore, 1 equal to 4 multiply with A. A is 2 here. We can substitute the value. A here plus 2B. Okay. Plus C. Our C is negative 3. Okay, so you will get 1 equal to 8 plus 2B minus 3. 1 equal to this one, 8 minus 3, you will get 5 plus 2B. So 2B will equal to negative 4 because 5 4, then B will equal to negative 2. Okay, therefore, this one, 2 minus X over X multiply with X plus 1 square will be equal to A. Our A is 2. So, 2 over x plus b, our b is negative 2, so minus 2 here, x plus 1, so negative 3 over x plus 1 square.